My name is Sam Meisler, and I'm a small animal veterinarian. In this segment, let's talk about dog parvovirus. Parvovirus is a very, very deadly disease. It enters your dog by the oral route. In other words, it licks it off the pavement, licks it off the ground, licks it off its feet. The virus goes into the intestine, multiplies in the little villi of the intestine, and then destroys it, destroys the lining of the intestine. The intestine lining takes about five days to grow back. So during that five days, your dog is left without any method of digesting. It's left with a very weakened intestinal wall. So bacteria can get across it. It will bleed into the intestine. It will be very inflamed. And during that time, your dog will have primarily symptoms of severe vomiting and severe diarrhea. Diarrhea will often, most of the time, have blood in it. It almost has sort of a blood bleachy smell to it. Veterinarians often can eat, recognize a dog parvo case just by the smell of the diarrhea. During that time, your dog can become seriously dehydrated. It can become bacterially infected or septic. It can lose a lot of different electrolytes, which electrolytes like potassium, for example, is very important in nerve conduction, regulating the heartbeat, muscle, muscle conduction, uh, muscle contraction, and dogs with parvo sometimes die from cardiac arrest just because their potassium gets too low. And the other electrolytes get out of balance as well. It's a very, very deadly disease. Most dogs, if treated aggressively, can be healed from parvo. And what we want to do is first diagnose it. There are lots of tests that can check for virus directly in the stool, in the diarrhea. And that's usually the first thing to do. We often do blood work as well to see where the electrolytes are, to see how dehydrated we are. Sometimes if the white cell count is really low, it gives us a poor prognosis. If the white cell count is normal, then we feel better about our prognosis for the treatment of parvo in that particular patient. Then we want to do some sort of fluid therapy to keep this pet hi de uh, hydrated, I'm sorry. Dehydration occurs from vomiting up fluids, not taking in fluids, and losing a lot through the diarrhea. So we need to give the patient lots and lots of IV fluids. Sometimes IV nutrition is given as well. Drugs to decrease vomiting are given, and often antibiotics are given. And there are a lot of other things we give to dogs to kind of support them through this. We want to support them through that three to five day period where the intestine can sort of reline itself, the lining can grow back. Most dogs can get through parvo, but we still have a significant amount of them that die even with aggressive treatment. It's very expensive and it's very time consuming. It's very messy. We have to take procedures to isolate the dogs with parvo from other dogs. And so it can be very expensive for that reason as well. Sometimes you just simply cannot afford treatment. And because different dogs have different immune systems against parvo, I never say that your dog will definitely die if you don't treat it. Home treatment involves using fluids like Pedialyte. Gatorade is no good. Gatorade has too much salt and sugar. It will suck any fluids that are left in your dog out just by drinking Gatorade. Pedialyte is the fluid of choice for home treatment. Sometimes your vet can give injections to decrease vomiting on a daily basis. Sometimes your veterinarian can write a prescription for a drug that's given to people, rectal suppositories, to, to try and decrease the vomiting that way. It's a hydration game, basically. You're trying to get your dog hydrated and keep it hydrated through this whole thing to make it survive until its test, intestine can grow its lining back. But no mistake, treating aggressively at your veterinarian's office will increase the chances by 10 to 100 to 1,000 fold than doing home treatment. But I would not necessarily give up without trying some, some home things if you cannot afford it. Prevention of parvo is easy. Vaccination prevents parvo. End of story. If we can vaccinate our pets, we're not going to get parvo. Start the vaccines at a young age, 
as young as six weeks of age, go through the series, usually veterinarians vaccinate against parvo every two to three weeks until they're three to four months of age, and then come back for yearly vaccines. I did have a case of parvo last year, was one month late for its parvo vaccine, got parvo. This is, this is rare. Most of the time, even when you're late, you can still have really great protection against parvovirus. But again, vaccination is the key. This gives you an idea, an overview of dog parvovirus. Please consult your veterinarian if your dog has signs of severe diarrhea, vomiting, gets really weak. Take it to your vet, especially if it's a young dog or a dog that's not been vaccinated.